So Netflix just made a huge upgrade to their audio quality. So to find out more about it and what you can expect, stick around. Perfect. Hey guys, it's the Villain Man here, home theater enthusiast and all around tech lover. Now on this channel we bring you the tech of entertainment. So if you're into that kind of stuff then hit that subscribe button and come along for the ride. You know you want to. Alright, so at the beginning of May, Netflix announced that they'll be upgrading the quality of their audio streams. And what that means is that previously, they had had an audio stream of 192 kilobits per second, whether you're watching a movie in Dolby Digital 5.1 or Dolby Atmos. So 192 kilobits per second for audio quality is not very high. So some big wigs over at Netflix complained that their show didn't have the audio quality that they were expecting. And as a result, Netflix made the changes. So the audio quality will be upgraded across the board if you have the right device. So for plain old vanilla Adobe Digital 5.1, the audio quality will jump from 192 kilobits per second to 684 kilobits per second, which is a huge jump. And for movies that support the Adobe Atmos object-based surround sound, the bitrate will increase to 768 kilobits per second. Now since the upgrade, I have tested some Dolby Digital and some Dolby Atmos movies, and I can say I hear an improvement. You can hear more detail in the movies now and it just sounds less muddy when things on screen get really chaotic. Which is a good thing, but I don't think it actually approaches the level of a Blu-ray disc just yet. But it's definitely improved. So on this Q80R which I'm currently viewing, I have the Apple TV 4K connected and I have the HUD up and so far I've actually seen where the bitrate actually increases above the 768 kilobits per second that Netflix says the new streams will have. Which I was surprised at seeing, but I'm not sure if it goes much higher than that because right now it's averaging at 771 kilobits per second. Now speaking of the Apple TV 4K, to actually get the increase in audio quality that they just rolled out, you'll need to have an external device. So your TV might not necessarily get the upgrade. So if you want the best audio quality that Netflix can deliver, you'll need an external box like the Apple TV 4K, an Nvidia Shield, or a Fire Stick. But of course, Netflix is also available on plenty of other external boxes that you can connect also. So yeah, I was also interested about how the audio and other streaming services now compare to Netflix. So when I tested Hulu, they had an average bitrate of 65 kilobits per second. 65. Voodoo had over 380 kilobits per second for theirs, and iTunes had 1 megabits per second for their Dolby Atmos content, and 400 megabits per second for their Dolby Digital content. Those were the average bit rates, so of course it can get higher or lower depending on your connection speed. Speaking of which, the audio bit rate increase at Netflix will only require an additional 500 kilobits per second, so it won't saturate your connection. Also, if you want to know more about this Q80R that I'm in the process of reviewing right now, then make sure to subscribe. Now to those of you who want to help support the channel so we can bring you bigger and better things in the future, but you're not necessarily in the market to buy things that we link in the description, then I have some good news. The Villa Man merch store is officially open. So you can actually buy a cool t-shirt like this and help support the channel at the same time. It's a win-win. The link will be in the description. So make sure to like the video if you liked the video and found it helpful and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Until next time, this has been your friend and neighborhood Villa Man saying, peace.